We've recently upgraded the Turnitin Assignment plugin on our VLE LearnNet to version 2, since version 1 is no longer supported by Turnitin themselves. You don't need to delete these or do anything else with them. They will be archived in the summer holidays, then removed automatically. The new Turnitin is called V2, and it looks like this in your course. Like the old version, you can have up to 5 parts in your assignment. Let's have a look at adding a Turnitin V2 to your course. See the student submission side, and then have a look at your options for grading and feedback. We have noticed that previous years Turnitin assignments have been reused, sometimes for a number of years. This isn't best practice, as it can lead to confusion with issue date, due dates, and what's known as the post date. That's the date students will receive their grade and feedback. It's okay to have an open start date on an assignment during the session, perhaps at the start of a block. However, your due dates and post dates are slightly more important, since these let students know when they should be submitting their assessments by, and also allows you to set a realistic post date to give you time to grade the submissions. There are automatic notifications in Moodle, letting a student know when their assessment is due, which will not work if your dates are all set in the past. The best advice we can give is to create a new set of Turnitin assignments for each session. It's quite safe to delete the old ones, since the site is archived every year and stored for 7 years. This will allow you to enter more accurate issue, due and post dates for every assignment. To add a Turnitin V2 assignment to your course, make sure you have editing enabled. Go to the section you want to add the assignment, then click Add Activity or Resource and choose Turnitin V2. Give your assignment a meaningful title, so students can find it. Maybe state which outcome this assignment covers if appropriate. Include a detailed description of what's expected of the student in this assignment. The following assessment information has all been generated by ChatGPT. Also, if there's more than one part to the assignment, describe what is expected in each part. This assignment will be in three parts. The start, due and post dates will be exaggerated, as in all in one day, to allow us to follow the action without waiting around for ages. In similarity report options, there's a very important setting, report generation speed. This is the speed at which Turnitin will check the submitted paper against other papers on the internet. This affects the student's ability to resubmit their paper if they've made a mistake. The default setting for new assignments is Generate Reports on Due Date. The student will be able to resubmit their assignment all the way up to the due date. Generate Reports Immediately A similarity report will be generated immediately. This means a student will not be able to resubmit their paper before the due date. This could cause them issues if they've discovered an error after submitting but before the due date. Generate reports immediately. Students can resubmit until due date. This gives the student the flexibility to replace their submitted essay three times before the due date. Check the common module settings for an appropriate group mode. If the group mode is set to separate groups, then students will need to be a member of a group to access the assignment. You can set this to no groups if you wish, but you might find it more difficult to narrow down the student list when marking. Now let's publish the assignment and wait for a student to submit. Students, how to submit to Turnitin V2. As a student, you'll be uploading text, documents or presentations if you've been given a Turnitin assignment to complete. Check the dates when you'll be expected to have submitted your paper. If you're late, you may not be able to upload your assignment at all, and will have to make alternative arrangements with your lecturer. I have three Word documents here which answer the three parts of the assignment. You will normally be uploading these some time apart, however, for this video, I've compressed the dates so that I can get the video finished in one day. To submit a Turnitin assignment, you should select the assignment in the course page. 
Next, select the part of the assignment you're submitting to, if there's more than one. Submit your paper by clicking the Submit Paper cloud icon. Give your paper a meaningful name to help your lecturer identify it. Now, either drag your file into the drop zone or click the file icon to search for the file. In some cases, you'll be permitted to submit text as part of the assignment. In those rare cases, you will have a choice of file upload or text submission. For text submissions, you should paste your text into the box provided. Please note that text submission is not suitable for formatted text. Therefore, text types such as bold, italics or laying out information in tables will not be available. As a lecturer, the grid view of student submissions has changed somewhat. It's now a little easier to view all the assignments and upload on behalf of a student if you need to do that. The grading screen remains much the same, as we will see now. When you open the Turnitin assignment, you'll see the student submissions by part. The grading interface is the same as the old Turnitin interface. In this example, we'll add some feedback and assign a grade to a student submission. Add quick marks and comments as necessary, then add a grade to the paper. You can then move on to another paper or close the window to apply the grade. It's common to use 100 out of 100 as a pass and anything less is required in resubmission. There's a variety of ways to approach resubmission. You could provide a separate part with appropriate later dates within the assignment. Alternatively, you could add a completely separate Turnitin assignment for resubmission if you would find that separation easier to manage. As a student, you will receive your feedback by accessing your paper once your lecturer has graded it. You can see your grade and any comments left by your lecturer by opening the submission. Depending on how your assignment is scored, you may need to submit an updated assignment. How you do this depends on how the assignment has been set up by the lecturer. You may need to submit to another part of the assignment, or a completely separate one. Check with your lecturer first.